Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 28th to the 6th of March and we are now already a while in Pisces and we also will have the new moon on the 2nd and the full moon on the 18th. So I will be putting out those videos besides the finance and the romance in the next couple of days or week. So uh, bear with me if I'm a little bit um, late in reacting to your emails, if you're sending an email to ask a question or requesting a reading. All the information if you do want a reading is below as the web, web, website is under construction. Okay, so here we go. You come in uh, gems with the Knight of Wands. And welcome back and thank you very much besides um, your likes and shares your number four on the list as cancer was the highest for the first time I know you're very loyal to me thank you Gemini I love you lots and lots and lots and I do hope uh, you will enjoy the reading because I'm using my old deck the um, Shadowland Tarot and I'm also using that's the Shadowland and I'm also using my new one, the Shadowland uh, Lenormand. And I think they're nice and quirky. They remind me of the Adams family. So if you would like to see all the cards, then go to the playlist reviews and you can see all the cards there. Let me know if you like the cards. As I said, you come in with a Knight of Wands, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. But he also means passion, creativity, being strategic, planning things and coming into action and going after what you want. But he also represents, that's what he represents, but he also represents bringing news like all pages and knights do. Also, <clears throat> that he also means that you could be moving home or you're seeking to move home and an opportunity is coming in. This could be an opportunity of love, a love affair, a new passion and that could turn into love long term since we have the tower which is long so long term. But you know, have to know each other's boundaries. Make sure you know their boundaries and that they know your boundaries so you can um, adjust the boundaries where need be in the future when you're growing close together. Passion doesn't last. If you want to make it into true love and long lasting love, then you have to respect each other's boundaries. Besides a lot of other things, of course, there's a lot more to marriage and a long lasting relationship than just passion. But passion could be in the air and also I find not only the uh, water signs or the air signs uh, uh, spiritual, I, th I think Gemini is very spiritual because they are the dual, uh, duality sign like um, Libra and Pisces. I think we are the most spiritual in the um, zodiac signs uh, because of our dual duality. Also, Sagittarius to me is also duality, half man, half animal. And we always have to fight or uh, compare or balance our opposite sides. We always are um, spiritually connected with ourselves and with the universe. That is what I find. But that's my experience. Also, Gemini, you could be very susceptible to the new moon energy and full moon energy because of your du uh, duality. But definitely if you um, are going for a fire sign, the best sign is Sagittarius as you are the opposites. Okay, so the tower means in Lenaman you are ambitious, you might be wanting, you might have a passion to do something that you really want to do and go for it. For the long term again the tower is high long term relationships long term a career for long term you are ambitious you might want to um, climb the ladder to be promoted and um, run a company or run a section of a company being a manager or a director 
a CEO okay so that's fine and then you can uh, hang out the flag once you've reached the summit but before you get there there's also a long trajectory to um, follow that means that you um, have to also uh, work hard head down but don't forget this is the warning of the tower in the Lenormand don't forget the people around you that love you make quality time and take time out you know the saying uh, work 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 make Jack a dull boy that's an English saying so don't be dull work and also find the balance between work and the home front or friends also don't look at this this is the ghost the ghost from the past don't let anything from the past um, <clears throat> worry you all too much so long you keep your mind focused on what you're doing and who's helping you and supporting you whilst you're doing it climbing that tower you could also be dealing with institutions or municipalities as the tower in Lenormand also represents that um, and here you see there is the base is solid foundation make sure you're building something on a solid foundation you don't want the tarot tower um, that things come tumbling down you could be moving to high rise um, as well you could be leaving the high rise um, it, and going to a house but let's see what the reading is going to say you've got number 19 which is an ending because it becomes an 10 and where 10 is an ending where there is an ending there is also a new beginning definitely uh, like I said you could be very spiritual around the 2nd of March as that's when the new moon is uh, coming in now the 2nd of March and um, that is most probably on let me have a look the 2nd of March it doesn't want to pop up the 2nd of March is on Wednesday so at the beginning of the week you could be highly sensitive because you two days uh, before and two days afterwards you still have the moon energy okay the moon is usually at its highest for three days but some people are really sensitive sometimes I'm very very sensitive especially if I'm focused on something okay you've got the high priestess so here you are you've got the spirituality number two try to keep the balance you might also be partnering up this could be the opportunity or the offer coming in he's funny he's got a rose in his mouth <laughs> he's going to do the tango <laughs> anyway the high priestess means that you could be very in tune with the new moon on the um, 2nd of March or a couple of days beforehand also you might have an idea that you want to put out into the material world be careful who you share that idea with because people could pinch that idea the high priestess um, also has the two pillars um, that means that the angelic is giving you a porthole to a new beginning so play the cards close to your chest because the high priestess is also very mysterious and secretive but she carries the Torah and that's the book with all the answers because she can travel between this world and the underworld so long you know what you're doing and you're in tune with the cosmos and the divine and yourself then you can maintain the balance and luck will be with you since you've got the clover the four leaf clover now she's holding on to the clover onto her luck and the luck is dragging money so there could be money coming in you could be earning man money with your idea that you want to put out into the material world something with money you could be lucky in business i would say or in career there could be a promotion there could be more money coming in a wage rise or a promotion and that is corresponds again with the tower the ambition also you've got two two so it's 22 wow what amazing the angelic has really shown you that they're here 
also you've got 19 here and 19 there so that's a 10 so that you could have double numbers 19 19 i'm just new uh, i'm just shouting out the numbers so write them down and see what you do with them perhaps it could be time it could also be an ending of a lottery number or some numbers in a lottery number that you want to choose a nine is a ten so you've got two tens again that doorway usually you see the two in numer numerical numbers the doorway the pillars but you've got the pillars on the high priestess so listen to your intuition very very important quite profoundly important this week <clears throat> you've got the sun excuse me the sun mean that time is fertile for this new beginning okay um definitely uh, fertile but you could find out that you're pregnant or you could hear of a birth this could be of a child but this could also be of a project a new investment a new hobby a new passion a new love you've got the high priestess that represents pisces so definitely in pisces time if it isn't a pisces person also leo because the sun represents leo you could be moving home or going on holiday if you're not going on holiday straight away then you could be planning for a holiday also going on to the next level like i said promotions money is coming in so uh, more money you will be going on to the next level in career or romance engagement marriage or if you're married you could be expand extending the family this doesn't have to be with a baby but can also be with an animal a pet also we have the tree make sure you catch the sun and make let your body make some vitamin d which you are needing after such a long winter we have had a very strange win winter so if the sun is out go out there and catch the sun be careful with the uv uh, rays so do use the cream okay protect your skin because the sun is very close to the earth nowadays we need more protection also you're in the spotlight people are noticing you um, either in career or romance where there is a sp spotlight there's also illumination something needs your attention and that's confirming the night of once the opportunity make sure that you are focused on what is happening around you not just in front of you because this opportunity will pass you by if you don't grab it and act upon it swiftly you might need to uh, let the other person know that sending you the news or giving you the opportunity can i have time to come back on the, my decision you might want to seek some answers you might want to get some more information before you say yes okay forewarned is forearmed it could be to do with your health or with your family since you've got the tree the tree means like family tree the tree also means that you um it's a bit like a wishing card as well you might be wishing for certain things you might be wishing for a house or a partnership <clears throat> or some more knowledge like the key can open doors to knowledge but it can also close um, the door to negativity it is time for you to take note of your health it's time for you to think don't sit on the fence fence although it's not the meaning of the liniment but this is what i'm getting from the card the tree also means there could be somebody in the family that has health concerns also like i said go outside catch some more vitamin d get some also some quality time with family like i said don't forget family and friends that support you whilst you're getting to the top so it's coming back in other cards you might feel out of balance but you will be in balance because there's a new beginning coming in most probably more than one so you could also be branching out because of the branches obviously um, if you have your own company um, you could be branching out but you could also be branching out with the wisdom like i said you might have to study this could be school high rise this is institutions that is a school or a university uh, internmentship 
so you might be branch and um, have to branch uh, if you want to branch out you'll have to do the study to gain the knowledge but also the tree says go outside take some relaxing time some quality time for yourself okay watch out for your health the tree also means um, you know the saying money doesn't grow on trees well that's that's the tree the word tree so you might want to think about things steadily and uh, for a while don't sit on the fence like swimming backwards and forwards you want stability you want to keep that um, swing steady you know just relax so don't sit on the fence make a decision also we've got the nine of swords the nine of swords is in nine is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning so don't give up this far in the game okay because it will be just around the corner this new beginning whether it's buying a home selling a home uh, planning for the future or getting married because this is also the marriage card <clears throat> this could be the registrar office since that is a municipality so something is keeping you worried and awake at night put your worries next to your clothes at night that's what my mum used to say and let the divine and the cosmos sort it out in divine time so that you can sleep and that you will feel rejuvenated at the beginning of the day also you have the mice the mice means theft uh, somebody could be stealing your ideas if like i said um before i saw the mice keep play cut your cards close to your chest you don't want anybody to steal your ideas if you are aiming to uh, for a certain job or a vacancy then uh, don't tell anybody about the vacancy because you want it so don't give your ideas away and this ma uh, the mice usually work in groups so if you have to meet deadlines ask for help don't shy away to ask for help remember many hands um, many hands make light work okay now uh, again it means also not only theft but it, um, being busy something could be gnawing at you this confirms the nine of swords so don't let let anything gnaw at you find somebody that you can trust if you have if you're lucky enough to have somebody like that and s tell your issue to that person a problem shared is a problem aired and it won't be so heavy also because um you've got some positive cards around it if you've lost something you will be able to find it back so long you um get a clear mind okay so get out of your head rest up it this is really health this is really health you have to take your rest a big rest get your mind clear L go out into nature like the sun that is transparent warm and clear um it's a funny that we haven't got the magician here because with the magician i always say be transparent be clear in communication and whatever you do do what you say and say what you do then nobody will have difficulties with understanding you either and they will understand why you might be a bit itchy twitchy with the moon energy and with things going around in your head so, so be careful you've got number 23 which is a five and it's lying next to a five you might be out of balance so get back into balance definitely in this situation wow so the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune might be on its way down at this moment but it is going back up he's sitting there relaxed and balanced at the end of the week you will be back in balance because you might have shared your issue with somebody you've got the you've done your research and you've got the answers so the wheel is definitely turning up again for you again a 10 a 10 means an ending and a new beginning so you've got three tens or three ones 
Also, you could be meeting or dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio or an Aquarius. Um, you might have put an idea out in Aquarius time and now it's coming to fruition. The wheel is always going upwards and always going downwards. This is also my karma card. The karma card means if you've done good or bad or somebody's done you bad or good, then they will get their karma back threefold and so will you. If you've had your eye on a car, it could be yours this week if you choose to go for it because money is luckus on your sign. The sun is shining on you. Again, the wheel means going on to the next level in career or in romance, getting engaged or married or starting a family or um, wage rise or a promotion. But be careful who you trust because I believe there could be somebody that is wearing a mask or that is being sneaky with the mice and the dog here. The dog usually means a loyal and trusting uh, friend and luck. That's the basic meaning of the dog. But in I also read intuitively and also uh, the pictures. Okay. Now this is a flea. Remember the saying, if you lie down with a dog that has fleas, then you will stand up with fleas. Um, this is the mask of the dog because it's the uh, card of the dog. So there could be somebody wearing a mask. Be careful. And you've got the leash here. He's, this boy is holding on to the with the lead to the dog. So don't let anybody pull your strings, your heart strings foremost. Okay, don't be a puppet. Stand up for yourself. Don't be anybody else's backbone but your own. Okay, stand strong. So there you go. Be careful who you mix with. Okay, because people do judge you by which crowd or which people you associate yourself with. Okay. Also, this this interpretation means don't let any bo body boss you or manipulate you, and definitely not emotionally or at work. Again, you've got a nine, so one and eight becomes nine. So you've got two nines as well very uh, much so double numbers also very much so angelic numbers the uh, divine is showing you the angels are showing you gemini that um they are um um have your back sorry about that i had to think because i'm getting so much information in okay definitely be careful uh, be weary um, of people okay i've got two cards out here from the creativity deck it they fell out or rather they flew out and first of all i got truth truth like we were talking about watch out people might be truth say what you do and do what you say but also watch out for the truth okay truth could be coming out with the sun okay because you've got the light side the dark side to all the spotlights like it, the illumination is the sun also illuminates something is trying to get your attention also with this opportunity so be careful be aware of what's happening around you an honest desire to know and speak the truth proceeds beneficial results and that's the card truth number 21 be creative that is a three. Wow. Also, curiosity. People are always curious about us, Gemini. They don't understand us because we can be flexible. Uh, we can compromise. We have the gift of the gab and we stand for justice and clarity and truth because the swords stand for that as well. And we do live by the sword. Remember, the sword cuts both ways. So be clear be honest be transparent be also spontaneous because you're the third house the child curiosity a child is curious so you could be curious but i feel it's the other people that are curious they want to know how you can work two jobs at a time or do the bit 
do your hobby and keep the balance between the home front and the work front be spontaneous wander more move forward look ahead and stretch above your present circumstances so uh, don't just dream about the future think about the future okay think of what you want the, and that will benefit your health the tree is health also family it will benefit your family and try to stay with the plan uh, if you're making a plan stay with the program and take it one twig at a time that's what somebody is telling me and that they're doing this don't jump from one branch to another take one step at a time nine again an ending so you've got three uh, i thought yeah three nines wow so a lot of double numbers quite a lot actually uh, this week so let be spontaneous be curious show interests to other people remember think of the ones that love you and support you tell them the truth that I want to reach the top because I want to provide for my family or I would like to go around the world whatever your story is so I hope you enjoy the reading thank you for all your likes and shares please continue to do so half of the viewers haven't subject please subscribe and let the alpha rhythm know that we are together and that you're part of this beautiful cyber family and also uh, let's get to 3000 and i will be doing short readings for free in the life when uh, we've reached 3000 so please like and share and subscribe and if you haven't yet please hit the subscription button and the bell on private then you won't be noticed then you won't have the ping ping noise if you if that's why you're not irritating it's free so why not take care have a wonderful week Bye-bye.